Shabani Cryer! The good old days from the Leeds City Varieties. This episode starring homegrown writer and comedian Barry Cryer. Good evening, my ladies and my gentlemen. Twelve years ago, Barry told me why this theatre was so loved by him. City Varieties, you started your career there, Barry. I did, my very first paid job. Stanley and Michael Joseph, dear Stanley, left us last year, saw me in the student show, showing off at the Empire Theatre in Brigham, and offered me a week's work. Suddenly I was a professional comedian. And you're working with strippers, they hadn't come to see you. <laughs> Over the decades, Barry was a good friend to the City Varieties, always a joy to work with. In a way, he was quite normal. He wasn't a big star icon, you know, this is me. He was just a normal person with, with a great humour. And good evening to you, Mr Sachs. Sitting there resplendent in your historic chair. It looks so commodious. <laughs> He was the Leeds Grammar School boy who went on to write jokes and sketches for the biggest names on television. Have you got the dispatches? No, no, no. I always walk like this. <laughs> Today, Barry's showbiz friends told me of their sadness that he had died. It just never entered my head that he was never going to ring me again and, you know, say, hey, I've got a great gag for you. And that's what I used to do. And if I was on with Victoria Wood, he'd always you know, ring me the following day or even that evening and, and just be very complimentary. He's, he was a bit of a mentor of mine, really. Barry had a, a, had a quality that is not common to all comedy. He had warmth. Barry Crack, he had that twinkle. When he was doing a story, he'd got that little twinkle in his eye and you were, the audience were grabbed halfway through the story and you knew that... Um, at the end of the day, you were watching pure gold and he's going to be... He's really missed now, Barry. Today's Leeds-based comedy writers say Barry is a hard act to follow. He was a very good stand-up and, if anything, I think his writing career kind of got in the way of what would have been otherwise a very, very successful stand-up and in-front-of-camera career. But he was, for 40 years, really, one of the go-to people for comedy writing. He was one of those people that would look at a script and just make it funnier. He just had that incredible gift of making funny people funnier. There's nothing more you can say than that. Before we go, let's have a quick joke from you, please. Leave us laughing. A uh, woman said to her husband, uh, can we make love now? And he said, why now? She said, the egg time is broken. <laughs> Over to Millions Walmart. of people will always have a smile on their face when they remember Barry Cryer. Ian White, BBC Look North, Leeds.